Our fifth and last theorem to prove formally is that the angle at the centre of a circle standing on a given arc is twice the angle at any point of the circle standing on the same arc. Before we begin this theorem, let's do a little bit of revision. In an isosceles triangle, that's an angle with two equal sides, angles opposite equal sides are equal in measure. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the two opposite interior angles. So the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. An angle at the centre of a circle standing on an arc, let's say the arc is called AB, is twice the measure of the angle standing at the circle on the same arc AB. So AOB in this diagram is twice the measure of the angle ADB. Another thing that we've got to remember in this theorem is to look out for the radii of circles because when we have a triangle and two of the sides are radii, then it will be an isosceles triangle. To prove this theorem, I have drawn a circle. The centre of the circle I'm calling O, the circle I'm calling K, and remember a set of points is written with a small letter now, and I'm going to draw an angle at the centre of the circle, that's standing on the arc AB, and I'm going to draw another angle that touches the circle that is standing on the same arc. Now I want to prove that the angle at the centre of the circle, AOB, is double the measure of the angle at the circle, and they're both standing on the same arc. So both angles start with A and stop with B. Now I have a construction in this. And the construction I need to draw is to divide this into two isosceles triangles. So I've drawn a line from C through to O and produced it out to a point which I'm calling D. The first thing that I note is I have now made up two isosceles triangles. So the length of AO is equal to the length of OC. That means that the triangle AOC is isosceles. So angles opposite the equal sides are equal in measure. Now I note that I've produced one of the sides, CO, in the triangle out to D, making an exterior angle 3. So 3, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. 1 and 2 are both equal. So I can say angle 3 is twice the measure of angle 1, since 1 is equal to 2, so the 1 and 1 would be 2 times 1. Similarly, and I don't have to go through everything again, I can see that triangle COB is also isosceles, with angles 4 and 5 equal, so I can say angle 6 is double the measure of 4. Now I'm going to add these two results together. So adding angles 3 and 6, and you can see that I'm looking at the big angle here, AOB, and 3 was 2 times angle 1, and 6 was 2 times angle 4. 
adding 3 and 6 together, I get the angle at the center, AO. And that's 2 times the measure of angle 1 plus 4. Angle 1 plus 4 is ACB. And that's my theorem proved.